Trainer Tiff with Tackle It With Tiff. I wanted to talk to you guys today about being honest. Um, there are four questions that you need to ask yourself. First question is, why did you gain the weight in the first place? This is extremely important when it comes to losing weight because you have to understand how you put it on in the first place in order to rise above it. Um, when you gain that weight, a lot of, we do it for different reasons. And we all try to find excuses to gain that weight. Whether it's, you know, the sob story that of your past of, you know, your parents got divorced or someone passed away or, you know, whatever it may be, those are excuses and you have to realize that. Um, you know, I thought that I had gained weight you know, because that was just a part of life, that that's what you did as you got older. And, you know, after my daughter turned six months old, I finally realized that it was an excuse. There was no reason for me to hold on to that weight. I still had baby weight on me, and then I was still gaining. And so, you know, you have to realize that it's an excuse, and that it's holding you back, and that you need to rise above it and push past it. Second question, what are you eating? Um, again, be honest. Write everything down in a food journal. If you are getting a bite of your child's food as you make their lunch, that's something that you need to write down. If it works better for you to take pictures, all of us have cameras nowadays on our phones. Take a picture before and after every single meal. Take a picture of your plate to show yourself how much you ate. Put your hand next to the plate to show a comparison of the size, the portion of the food that you're eating. Um, third question, what is healthy? People ask this question all the time. Well, I don't know what healthy food is. Be honest, you're a smart cookie. Give yourself more credit. You know what healthy is. If it comes in a box, if it comes in you know, cardboard, it's probably not healthy. If it can last a month in your pantry without going bad, it's not healthy. If it can only last a week or two in your fridge, it's healthy. Um, if your food has preservatives in it, it's going to preserve what your body currently looks like. If it's not, and if it's grown in nature, if it grows, it will help you grow as a person. So that's one way to look at it. Fourth question, what is holding you back? Give up the excuses. Give it up. Let it go. Okay, anything that you think is holding you back probably isn't. It's just the power that you give to it. Okay, um, write all of the answers out to these questions. Write it out. Get a journal. Get a notebook. Get a pen. Write it out. All of my clients I make write out this information. Sit down, get angry, get upset curse, cry, all of it. It needs to get out. The emotions that are behind all of the excuses need to be released. Only then can you start to move forward. Okay, so figuring out why you gained weight. We can all sit around and have a pity party and tell our sob stories of what happened when we were younger, what happened in the past six months. Come up with reasons to gain weight. Now, I'm not saying that that someone passing away is not a horrible thing. It is, but no matter what, it's a part of life. There's a circle to life and the timing will always suck. There's never a good time for someone to pass away. And mourning is a definite process, but it doesn't include harming yourself. And by sitting around and being upset and being depressed and eating nonstop or not eating at all, it actually hurts you. And do you really think the person that passed away would want for you to harm yourself? Be honest. You know, as a trainer, we can't do our jobs properly if you're not honest with yourself first. You can lie to us until the cows come home. You can lie to your doctor. You can lie to your nutritionist. You can lie in your food journal. Bottom line is, if you are not honest with yourself, you are hurting yourself. You cannot move forward until you start to be honest. So, you know, sitting down and talking to your doctor, you need to go to the doctor before you start a process like this. You need to go find out about you. Find out if you have a, a thyroid issue. Find out if your metabolism is insane. You know, get blood tests done. 
to really find out what it is that you're working with. If there really is a health concern that you need to learn about and to work around, because it can all be worked around. There is no finite excuse, okay? If you break your leg, I'm sorry you broke your leg, but there is a lot more that you can do. It, there's no reason to use that as an excuse to stay the same. There's always a way to move past things and it will heal, okay? Um, you know, be honest about what you're eating. Again, be honest. You know that if you take a few bites of, you know, birthday cake, it doesn't just disappear. What you eat in private, you wear in public. Everything works either for you or against you. There is no such thing as a neutral meal. You either are working towards your goal or away from it. So every time you sit down for a meal, you need to realize whether you're going towards a goal or away from it, okay? Um, what is healthy? If it comes in a cardboard box, if it can last in your pantry for a month, no. Have fun in the produce section. You know that lean meats, chickens, extra lean ground beef, things like that, those are all healthy. Um, fruits, vegetables, super healthy. When they're floating in butter sauce, not healthy. Okay, um, fruits, if they're swimming in sugary syrup, not healthy. You know these things. Deep down, you know it, okay? Um, if you're baking or grilling chicken, fantastic. If you are frying it, no. All right. Again, you know the answers to this. It is the simple stuff like that that will keep you going towards your goals. Okay. Um, sitting down and lying to your nutritionist about what you're eating does you no good. Lying to your trainer about what you're doing does you no good. Lying to your doctor does you no good. Lying to yourself is the worst thing you can do. You need to sit down with a journal and write the answers to all four of these questions out. I make all of my clients do it. Get angry, get upset, cuss, cry, scream. I don't care, but you need to get these emotions out because otherwise you hurt yourself by holding it all in. For the longest time I lied to myself thinking that, oh, well, because I just had a baby, I was allowed to gain my weight and stay, you know, fat and happy. I was not happy. I kept telling myself that I was, but I was lying to myself. When my little one is six months old and I still have the baby weight, there's no reason for it. So either you find an excuse to stay the same or you find a reason to rise above it and to change. And that's really what it takes. And people ask all the time, people that have transformations, always try to explain that it literally is a switch that goes off that you just decide one day to stop the yo-yo, to stop going back and forth, that you are done being unhealthy. And it really is that simple. And when you let go and when you are honest with yourself, life begins and it's so much fun. And you get to enjoy life the way it was meant to be enjoyed. So let go of your past, move past it, realize what is an excuse, and realize what will get you to where you want to be. But you have to be honest. No more lies, no more excuses. Write it out, get honest, get angry, get happy. But be honest. Train like you mean it, eat clean, and eat healthy. You know what healthy is. Get honest and get results.